when you walk in there and they start talking about what they do, there's a strong chance that you actually have no idea what they do. Like, have you actually ever been in that type of environment as an engineer? Have you ever been in any type of engineering environment? <laughs> My name is Kyle. In today's video, we are talking about how to get a last minute internship. So just a few weeks ago, I got emailed a list on how to get an internship if you don't already have one. It came from one of my advisors and I read over it, kind of like scanned it. I thought it was an email that I could throw out, just delete or ignore on the spot. But the, the list was so, it stuck out to me like how to, how to go about doing it. It was so me. It was very like, wow, this is something that I wish I would have came up with. It's very guerrilla warfare like, it's very like grassroots local, like how to do something behind the scenes, how to do it not the traditional way. And just to put it out there, just so everyone knows, I'm taking their exact list word for word and all I did was condense it from eight or nine steps that they gave into five steps, just to make it easier to remember. Um, I didn't come up with this on my own, I'm taking it directly from the email, but I think it's definitely something that should exist on YouTube, a platform where you know high school students or college students everywhere can you know, see and hear this information. So here it is, step number one. Look up every business in your area that hires engineers of your type. So whether it's architectural engineers or industrial or biomedical, you get it. Whatever it is you are, look up every business that hires those types of engineers. They don't have to be looking for interns, just look up those businesses. And you want a list, you want to generate a list in Excel or Word that's about 20, 30, or 40 deep. Step two, you're gonna update your resume, update your portfolio, you're gonna get an actual folder, a real hands-on folder, a professional feeling one, right? And you're gonna update it. You're gonna put all your new things in your resume and you're gonna put take projects and sketches and reports and documents and anything you've ever done, even in school. It doesn't have to be from prior internships. It can be just from things that you've done, the DIY projects that I keep telling you guys about. I keep hammering you about DIY projects. Find YouTube videos and, and create things. Actually get your hands on things. You're gonna take everything you've done, Make sure it's in some sort of paper form and in that portfolio. And then you're gonna get dressed up, something professional, business casual, just Google it. Step three, you physically go to each and every business that you put on that list and you go see the receptionist at the front desk and you say, hey, my name's Kyle, fill in these blanks now, come on guys, don't be, don't be ridiculous with this. But um, hey, my name's Kyle, I go to West Virginia University. One of the assignments for my class is to interview an engineer and see what their day in and day out work schedule is actually like. So um, you ask her that, she might say no, she might say yes. If it's a no, you go on to the next business. If it's a yes, which a lot of companies will say yes, you now are gonna have a chance to sit face to face with the engineer um, and be one step farther than you were before. And you want to have a list ready. Don't go in empty handed. You want to have a list of 10 to 12 things ready that you may actually be curious about. Step four, when you get the opportunity to talk to someone and you're interviewing them, be actually genuine and curious about their job. Have a real mentality of a blank slate mentality, an idea that of, of a child. When you walk in there and they start talking about what they do, there's a strong chance that you actually have no idea what they do. Like, have you actually ever been in that type of environment as an engineer? Have you ever been in any type of engineering environment? Probably not. So take this mindset, even, even myself, even if I have been in an engineering environment, that idea is I'm learning something brand new for the first time. I'm getting this guy's perspective, professional experience and mentality behind what it's like to be an engineer. So be curious about it. Be like, man, what's it like? What's it like doing this? Wow, what happens when you run into a problem? So when you run into a problem for this, you know, be able to balance and, and uh, interject off of your questions and, and just have a normal curiosity. Now, when the opportunity presents itself towards the end of the interview, interject in in middle of it be like be like wow and be able to tie what he's saying into the projects and and things that you've maybe have done at school be able to relate it and then after that when the interview is closing up or when it's reaching its ending point you simply ask the guy and you say dang like are you guys hiring here you know have a curiosity of like i kind of like have an interest have be like i kind of you know i kind of like the sounds of how i kind of like what you're doing are you guys hiring anyone do you even have do you have internship positions here and, and get that in his brain just drop that little that little seed and if he just directly says no or brushes you off and it seems like he's not being encouraging about it then forget about it you have all these other companies on your list but if he does be like well yeah you can do this or you can do that then make sure you prod him about it encourage him to like you know what's the next steps oh well, yeah how do I do that what, what do I do to follow up okay is it online I'll, I can go ahead and do that something along those lines the final step step five 
make sure you say thank you regardless of what happens and send a thank you note. Regardless of what happens, you are there on behalf of your own brand and partially on the schools because you leverage them to get your way in here. At least send a thank you note or get their contact information and email and, and send them an email just saying thank you and hey, I'm happy that this worked out. It's I hope uh, I do something good with my assignment or something along those lines. You don't have to continue that lie, but just say, hey, appreciate your time. That's it. Hey, I appreciate your time. It meant a lot. Or if you do, or if it ended up being an encouraging thing, then say, hey, thank you for your time. I actually applied for that internship and uh, I'm, looking forward, I'm looking forward to possibly working with you in the future. Anything along those lines. And if you have a LinkedIn, this is the perfect time to request them on LinkedIn because they're gonna be able to see your accomplishments, things that you've done, you're in school. It's like a reminder. It's like, wow, you send them the thank you email, boom. Then you send them the LinkedIn request, boom. Like this is like a three-step plan kinda, or <laughs> not just three-step plan, but this is a multi-tier step plan to like um, following up and closing the deal. Doing those five steps, aren't gonna guarantee that you get an internship. Like, I know it seems silly, like, wait, I can do all of that and still not get an internship? And yeah, that's the truth, just how the world works. You can email a thousand people and ask to interview them or a thousand people and ask to do something, they could all say no. But the reality is, it's probably something much smaller than that. It's probably like one in every 10 will give you an opportunity. Which means have 20, 30, 40, as many as you can, as much as you want it. Have that many companies ready and be ready to follow this five step plan. It's not gonna take that long. You get in your car one day and you hit 10 businesses. You know, I mean, it is what it is. It just depends how bad you want this internship and want to get things rolling. And that's it guys. No extra ranting, no extra five minutes at the end of this video. I'm not dragging it on. I'm gonna keep it nice and short. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I have a lot of videos coming this summer. I'll see you guys next time. Just wrapped it up, baby. This rubber, I'm gonna burn this gasoline and set it on fire.